What's up, everybody? Well, hope everything is good for y'all. Holiday season. Never carved a pumpkin before. First time for everything. So we're going to start off with this one right here. We're going to see where that goes with us. Got a little face painting we're going to do real quick with the little homie, Braylon. And uh, let's see how all this goes. Right? I've never done it before. Uh, so if it doesn't come out good, all right. <laughs> Gonna turn my man Braylon into Jack. All right. Yeah. All right. Face paint crayons made it difficult, but we got it done. Now it's time for the pumpkin. First thing we're going to do is wash the pumpkin. Some people have taken uh, Clorox. Some people do it with just a regular house cleaner. Clean off the pumpkin as best as you can. In case there's anything already on there, any insects or anything else. There are some people who do all of this and soak the pumpkin in a water and Clorox solution. So you want this to be clean and sanitized. Time for things to get a bit messy. So cover your table or countertop to make cleanup that much more easier. Next part of this is what I don't like. <laughs> You're gonna cut out the top, make your marks around however you want it to be. But remember to clean it off very good as best as you can. Let it dry off or dry it off, whichever one that you feel like doing. And then, uh, again, cut the top and then we're going to gut it. So what I have is a carving kit. You can get one, Walmart or anywhere. Some of these art stores, art supply stores have them. You can do this with a knife too, but you got to be very careful. You can really hurt yourself. Don't let any kids do this on their own. Some people take the seeds and then put them in a baking tray. I'm not doing all that. That's that's not for me, man. But they go the brains. Take the brains out. Now with the scooping kit, we're going to scoop everything out of here. Some I'm going to take out with my hands. The rest I'll take out with the scooping kit. Um, if you don't have this, you can use a spoon. I saw some people use uh, ice cream uh, scoop. There's different ways to do that. I'm going to put my hands all in there and get it out of there. They use these scoops that have all these ridges to get the excess that's in there. Got my extra bags here for the guts. All right, we got it all gutted and hollowed out. Now, some people, I saw somebody... Carve out the pumpkin, the face and everything first, then gut it. Whichever way y'all want to do it, you can. You then want to clean it out. You can use a dis disinfectant spray or whatever you want in there to clean it out. If you're going to use candles, do not put anything in there. Petroleum, anything, any sprays. Don't put anything in there that you're not supposed to. That is flammable. But we got LED lights, LED uh, candles and stuff. That's what we're going to put in there. Next, what we're going to do is draw on there, figure out our design. Some people put it on paper as a stencil, then do it. I'm going to freehand it. And uh, so you want to make sure it's lined up real nice to the section you want to show the most. And you want to make sure that you're able to hold it tight while you're doing so. I'm using the, the lid of it to actually prop it up. I suggest using stencils or planning out your artwork ahead of time. Color in the areas that you want to cut out and be mindful of what's going to stay and what has to go. I'm pretty sure it's going to change a little bit as I'm doing it. Uh, just a little something. We'll see myself what happens afterwards.
Right? This is very difficult. <laughs> we hooked up the smile a little bit. I think I went too low because the the LED has to go right in there. But we'll see. Take our skewers and we'll add the eyes. So the eyebrow fell off, so I took it off completely. You know, I tried with the skewers to fix everything. I couldn't. So I just continued on with the project, which was using the skewers inside to put the eyes. And you see when we put the light, how that's going to end up looking. So now all we got to do is insert the T lights. Be careful when you put it that you don't knock over the eyes. These are LED lights. The battery in there. To find these cheap also. So that's what it's going to be. I tried to clean it up. It is what it is. Let's see. Time for the lights. Spooky. You like it? Spooky. <laughs> So oh, there you go, man. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of cleanup left of it, but my first one, I felt it came out pretty good. A few mistakes here and there, but now I know better. And I have one huge one waiting for me to get done also. I don't think I'm going to do that one. Or maybe I'll just draw on it and put that video out too. We'll see what's up, all right? Thank you for rocking with me. Subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Salute.